This is it. Finally, I can meet Ollie. This is... Huh? Alright. The Yakuza games have told me that seeing a guy that looks like this, I'm probably about to get in a fight. Please be advised, the following presentation is not intended for minors. Special candidate number 97. You may sit down. A voice suddenly came from nowhere, startling you. Okay, another sentence entirely in Indonesian. Boroboro duduk. Liat kursinya dimana aja gak bisa gue. I'm. Okay, he keeps going. Apa gue disura tercera mau duduk dimana ya? I didn't understand a single fucking word of that, I am sorry. Try to fill your surroundings for a chair or a stool. <laughs> Duolingo will remember this. I will say, it has been a while since I brushed up on my Indonesian lessons on uh, Duolingo. It has been a while. But as you can't find any, you try to expand your search radius. Somehow you found something. But it is rough and hairy. Oh no. What the heck did I just touch? Something is rough and hairy in a dark place. Let your, ima <laughs> Let your imagination run wild. I'd rather not, thank you very much. Uh, keep standing. Where am I supposed to sit down when there's no chair or stool? I'll just keep standing. Uh, can't you see this room is way too dark? Keep standing in the middle of the dark room or grumbling. You've been standing for 15 minutes. The room is still dark and your feet are starting to give up. Alter ego? Uh, where's the HRD? It's been too long. Am I left alone here? Ah, whatever. Keep waiting until you're too tired to stand up. Then you choose to go home. I just... After all of that... After all of that... Like, my legs get tired and I just decide to fuck off back home. <laughs> really? Bro. Alright, sit on the floor. You have no clue where's, uh, where's the chair because you can't see in the dark. Then decide to sit on the floor, just like you used to do during your freshman year in college. Special candidate number 97, you may sit down on the chair. Same voice from before instructs you again. I'm sorry, sir, ma'am, uh, can't find the chair. Every time. Uh, Walaupun uh, dagdig dug uh, takut sala nomong uh, lo ter uh, terpaksa bilang karana lo emang gak bisa liat kursinya dimana. Oops, we forgot about the light. There we go. Uh, the lights in the room turned on one by one, illuminating the room. The heck? The chair is next to me all along. You immediately move the chair provided, then you face the long empty table in front of you. Not long after, you hear light footsteps from a distance. Here it comes. It's time for an interview with Ollie. But hold on. I'll check my attire. Gotta make sure I appear at my best looking so Ollie doesn't feel uncomfortable. Eh, never mind. I've checked it countless times already. Must be Ollie's footsteps. Oh, I can't wait. The closer the footsteps, the harder your heart beats. But for some reason you hear more footsteps incoming. Oh, maybe Ollie comes with the staff to interview me. Gotta fix my suit, quick. Creak? The door on the other side of the room opens slowly. This is it. Finally I can meet Ollie. This is... Huh? Shh, alright. The Yakuza games have told me that seeing a guy that looks like this, I'm probably about to get in a fight. <laughs> you were shocked to see a middle-aged man emerge from the door. In a strange outfit. He's wearing an eccentric patterned shirt with open buttons, Mr. Bean trousers, and goldenish shoes. His hair is dyed blonde with a blackish-blue dye in the middle. Did I mistake the room? Did they play a prank on me? Yeah, Ollie's sure taking a sweet time, yeah. I was shocked to see the interviewer wasn't Ollie, but this man's outfit was way too shocking. Even getting interviewed by a grasshopper feels much better than this. After everyone was seated down, the room suddenly became silent and confusing. What's wrong with this man? He's just glaring at me. Am I a rare species to you? Uh, maybe I should take the initiative. Let's, uh, greet the interviewer. Ahem, uh, good afternoon, Mr. HRD from Hololive Indonesia. 
Yes, good afternoon to you, candidate number 97. No need for pleasantries. Let's go straight to the questioning session. What do you know about one of our Hollow ID talents, Karishi Ole? Uh, art spelt wrong? You spelt her name wrong! You spelt her name wrong in her own goddamn game. Karay Oli is... Yeah, she's a zombie idol, a talent of Hollow ID Gen 2 and... <laughs> and violence, apparently. Technically, these are all true, so... Uh, talent of Hollow ID Gen 2. One of the extraordinary talents from Hollow ID Gen 2. Uh, HRD smile suddenly vanished and turned into a sour expression. You're not wrong, but not exactly correct either. Maaf, Salanya Dimana Yapak? Think again. Hmm. Ah, uh, Ollie isn't extraordinary? Uh, how dare you say Hololive Talon has no skill? Try to look at yourself in the mirror. Yeah, I thought so. I didn't know what else to pick because she's Gen 2, she's Indonesian. Uh, the ID part, sir? I don't know. I'm done talking to you. Alright. Answered incorrectly again. Alright, so she's not from Gen 2? Just go home. Done talking to you. Okay, so all of that was just... All of them were fail states. Yes, I am also endlessly confused. Though she's a zombie idol. She rose from the dead, had uh, but had amnesia when she finally managed to return home. She found her old house already turned into a ramen shop. HRD nodded in satisfaction upon hearing your answer. Good, good. Next, what was the reason Kareji Oli chose to become a VTuber? That she wants to reclaim her old house? Hmm, excellent. All right, next is more serious questions. Yes, sir. The opening question was smart. Surely, if I'm going to be Ollie's reporter, I'm required to have prior knowledge of her origins. Uh, I get a little nervous. Wonder what the uh, what the question will be. It's my first time applying for a reporter position. All right, I can do this. Studied all night for the sake of this interview. You stroke your chest to calm down uh, and convince yourself that you're ready for the next question. Okay, ready? I want you to answer these questions quickly. First, how many stitches does Ollie have? What, like, all together? Like, second, Ollie's right eye colors are red and green. What color is her left eye that's yellow? Third, what size are uh, Ollie's feet? I. What the fuck? Why would I know? Next, what game does Ollie play often in collabs, Apex? Next. Huh? What? Why does this feel like an Ollie themed quiz? Oh, so he's talking so fast. Is this really an interview or is it a prank? J just a moment, sir. Next, what size are Ollie's feet? Next, Ollie belongs to which generation? Two. Next. HRD asks all the questions rapidly, doesn't give you enough time to answer. T sir <laughs> For Yago's sake, calm down. <laughs> yeah, slow down, sir. You're reflexively shattered because HRD's been rapping who uh, probably could beat Eminem. You realize you were just shattered at HRD, you shut your mouth with your hand. Shoot, just shattered at the HRD. Please don't be angry. Please don't. It was hard to persuade the staff. Am I going to blast my chance here? You're getting tense from the fear of being rejected and uh, kicked out. <laughs> oh, my apologies. Really didn't realize that I was going too fast until you said it. But you amaze me. This is the first time someone dares to shout at me. I commend your bravery. Okay, I'll repeat the question. First, how many stitches does Ollie have? Pff, okay, so I'm guessing it's uh, how many stitches she has on her face. If it's that little. 13. If I remember, uh, remember it correctly. Correct. Next question. Second, Ollie's right eye colors are, uh, is red and green. What color is her left eye? That's yellow. HRD nodded and took a note in his paper. For the next question, I suggest you give me a firm answer. I don't want to hear an answer with a hint of doubt, since it means you're not even sure with your own answer. I got it, sir. Great. Like your enthusiasm. You do need a brave and passionate reporter, after all. Next, how tall is Ollie? Oh, fuck. I don't know. Seriously? Questions will be uh, full of trivia? 
How would I know Ol uh, Ollie's uh, spell Ollie wrong again? <laughs> they keep spelling her name wrong in her own game. Uh, I'll just have to answer whatever. 162. 162 centimeters. Great! Among the 103 previous candidates, you're the first to answer correctly this far. Oh god. <laughs> Next, what's the name of Ollie's teddy bear? That's Udin. Uh, what's it called again? Save, just in case. Udin. Next, when did Ollie's debut? Oh, I know this. Ah, oh, fuck. I don't actually know this. I'm most likely sure it's not, you know, Christmas Eve. Uh, December 4th? Yep, it's Crazy Yoli uh, debuted D de December 2020. Okay. Next, what is Ollie's unique talent? <laughs> Pretty sure she's multi talented. Like, she games a lot, because, you know, that's kind of what most people do in Hololive anyway. I don't think. I've seen her do a cooking stream. So is she a good impersonator? Uh, good. Next, including her, how many siblings does Ollie have? Okay, I think she had three? I'm pretty sure it's three. Like, I know she has at least two. Because, like, I've heard her talk about her uh, brother and her younger sister. Oh, including her. Okay, so three. It would be... No, it would be... F fuck. I'm just gonna go three anyway. Uh, Ollie's the youngest. Uh, Ollie has a younger sibling. Yeah, okay. You're just a seasonal fan of Ollie. Fucking, I'm sure Ollie mentioned it before in his stream. Really, sir? I never know. You think I'm lying? HRD got annoyed because you accused him of lying. Okay, so it's prob- Yeah, so it's four siblings. But yeah, like I said, I know, um... She, she's she's had her youngest sister on stream before. I've seen a clip where she's uh, talking about her brother uh, buying tampons for her. <laughs> I completely forgot about the other one. Okay, so it's four siblings there. HRD nodded and took a note on his paper again. Next, what languages can Ollie speak? I think she could speak three languages. English, Japanese, and Indonesian. Indonesia, English, and Japanese, sir. Hmm. Alright, next, who is Olivia? Huh? <laughs> I I know this, but, you know, just in case. It's Ollie's name when she was alive. Just guess because she looks like Ollie, right? You can tell, sir? Ah, uh, it's not a... God. Like, it's technically a mix of a lot of those, really. Then get your phone and watch Ollie's first stream. Uh, until a later stream. I'll leave for a lunch break for a moment. I'll test you again later. God damn it. Took three days to finish the entire streams. I don't think it's... I don't think it's three days. She's been streaming for years. I don't think there's, like, enough time to finish all of that in three days. Ollie's alter ego. Alter Ego? You watch too many fiction movies, oh for fuck's sake. How'd you know, sir? I was uh, just binge watching the Korean drama Bad and Crazy recently. It was a good series. Even if you watch Japanese animal videos all, uh, all week, it's none of my concern. For your information, I, I do have an Alter Ego. HRD gave you a mysterious smile, creeped you out. He's been creeping me out this entire fucking time. HRD is annoyed with you that he doesn't want to see you anymore. See, like, this one's annoying because, like, technically she's called, uh... She's called Olivia, like, all of these. It's Ollie from another universe. The HRD uh, stared at you for so long that you got worried. <laughs> it's funny to see you tense. You answered correctly. Next is the last question. What's the main reason you'll want to be uh, Kareji Ollie's reporter? Finally, the main question. Alright, so I have the required skills. I like Ollie. My dream is to become a reporter. Where's I don't want to be unemployed? Let's go. I have the required skills. Please elaborate. I can. Oh, for fuck's sake. So many save files. Does visual novel, uh, novel gone into the uh, raunchy period yet? No. We haven't even met Ollie yet. 
<laughs> it's been an hour and a half. We haven't met Ollie yet, outside of, you know, her face showing up on fail states. Uh, work under pressure without sleep for four days. So I won't miss anything while I monitor Ollie and... Hey, young candidate? Suddenly you lose consciousness so the interview cannot continue. Oh, okay. You were hospitalized for two weeks and failed the interview. I like having money for a living and hate dying of hunger, sir. So. <laughs> How about my dreams to become a reporter? I've always wanted to be a reporter since I was little. Kept that dream even to this day, sir. So. Hmm, looking for an answer that's more uh, of your expertise. Dreams? Everyone has at least one or two. HRD took out his notes and crossed something on it. And that's a foul state as well. Uh, it's better not be one of those games where the main appeal uh, doesn't show up until last 30 minutes. Press is admitted it's going to be a bad end anyway. Try again. Oh, god damn it. Are all job interviews this fucking bullshit? Oh, I guess I gotta go with the, the obvious one. I like Ollie. Ollie motivates me with her funny content. I feel like I want to be uh, more than just a fan and be useful for Ollie. Uh, game? Next? Thank you. That's why I applied for Ollie's reporter position. HRD seemed amused and nodded in response to your answer. Slam! The HRD stands up with a bang. You stand up as well in response. HRD extends his hand with a friendly smile. Don't really get it, but shake his hand anyway. I accept your application as Kariji Ollie's reporter. Welcome to Hololife Indonesia. We did it! Finally! It took us an hour and a half. Jesus Christ. You showed me an outstanding and impressive interview. You're so happy as if on cloud nine. As if you're getting a door prize. Whoa, really sir? My application is accepted? Yes it is. Congratulations. Thank you sir. Thank you very much. You thanked and bowed to the HRD many times. Seems slightly annoyed though. Ahem. <clears throat> it's enough. And you followed me to the other room. Uh, for what purpose, sir? It's not obvious. You'll meet Crazy Ollie. Don't you want me to introduce you to your work partner? Uh, okay, sir. Alright, let's get moving. Oh my god, we're finally about to meet her, god damn it. <laughs>